Today, uh, we're going to discuss the subject of off-plan property purchases. I'm here with Judith Iglesias, from, who's one of our senior mortgage consultants. Hi, Judith. Hello. Thanks for having me. So, um, we often uh, speak to clients who are considering buying off-plan. So, can you give us a, a bit of an insight as to what is that? Yeah. Well, it's a very good point that we analyze that scenario because we noticed we're having a lot of inquiries recently for off-plan purchases and um, it's important to understand and you know we make sure the client understand how the process is in Spain as they tend to get a bit of con confusion on, on this. Um, the off-plan properties uh, will be ready in certain time, two or three years, right? So um, uh, normally the developers are requesting some down payments. Uh, normally, probably it will be between 30 or 40 percent. When do they ask? At the very beginning. Well, they need to place a deposit to put the property out of the market so they have the property assured for them. And uh, they start asking for down payments for uh, the following year uh, in order to uh, reach up to 20 or 30 percent of the initial price okay so um, some clients they think they, they can get uh, finance on the down payments and we need to make sure they understand the process that Spanish bank they never provide mortgages um, until the property is finished so it's important to make sure the clients understand that point and as well as uh, the mortgage won't be released until uh, the property is finished. Uh, what we do is we make sure uh, the client is going to be getting the mortgage in two or three years time. Okay, so we do a very good pre-qualification so the client don't put themselves on risk. So if I understand it, so if I was interested in buying an off-plan property, I'll obviously speak to the developer. The developer will show me the property from the plans. Mm -hmm. They would want me to put 20, 30, 40% and on the developer. Mm -hmm. Up front. Up front. From my own money. Yeah. And then they would then construct the development. The development. The property. Mm -hmm. And that can't be financed by any Spanish bank, right? Correct. So that's quite an old time. So mm. what you're saying is we can help clients with the decision making process. We can talk to clients before they put the 30, 40 percent down. And this is the ideal situation, right? So um, the client can understand uh, the way the bank uh, will be releasing the money. OK, and they, they can be relaxed knowing the mortgage is going to be happening in two or three years time if the circumstances hasn't changed. OK, if they still uh, have the same situation profile yeah, uh, and, and, and the same uh, job and, and circumstances that they, they, they start explaining. So we what you're saying is you would speak to a client first, you would analyze or qualify the client in terms of their mortgage ability to obtain a mortgage. Correct. At that moment in time, to hopefully give them the confidence to put the 30% down or the 40% down. Correct. And what you're saying is, um, do you do you, do you you work with them du during the, the two or three years? That it during the whole process. So we are always here for them, right? for providing updated, uh, updates, for um, <clears throat> um, giving the information if they uh, want to change the job. So we can do the numbers again with them and we can say, okay, we, we advise. Yeah, so you, you, you would actually guide them throughout the whole yeah. process. So two years is quite a long time. Uh, and we've had many occasions where clients have changed, mm -hmm. but have had a change yeah. certainly. Yeah. Policy. yeah. Um, and we've been able to, to guide them as to how yeah, to, yeah, to get yeah. mortgage ready at the Ready time. at the time. And the way will be structured. Uh, if they tend to uh, go for another liabilities in the country, we advise not to do it or but they could do it uh, after doing the numbers with them. So we guide them uh, at the whole process, right? We coach them through the whole journey, yes. through the whole process. Yeah, this is very important because it's a lot of money. 
uh, what, what from the What happens if a mortgage isn't it? Well, they can lose the, 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 the whole uh, down payments that they've been uh, assuming, right? So it's uh, quite a lot, a lot of money, 20-30% of total purchase price, yes? So it's very, very important to have a mortgage broker specialize in guide them on, on that process, yeah. So it's important for, the, for, for anybody thinking about a life plan mm. situation, yeah. they've got to understand they've got to put a large chunk up front. Great, yeah. So what you say is it's good for them to do their homework and find a professional that can... It's the first so thing. So they don't have a situation... Definitely. ...when it comes to yeah. complete. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's, that's amazing. I mean, the, the other alternative is that they can use their own money if they want. Yeah, they can buy in cash. They can buy in cash. If they didn't want to do that, it's important that they know that a mortgage is available. Okay, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Within that two years, do you speak to the developer? Do you liaise with their lawyers? Yeah, we always liaise with the lawyer and with the developer uh, because we need to follow up the whole process. We need to understand the timing as well for um, when the property is going to be finished uh, with the license, uh, with the land registration uh, paperwork in place. And uh, this is something particular in Spain. Uh, the process is uh, completely different. Uh, the, the, the process they found uh, in their own countries. So um, we need to follow up uh, with developers and lawyers in order to make sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. So again, so understanding when the property is going to be completed by that's one thing. But we also need to understand when the final paperwork from the local town halls and everything mm -hmm. is going to be issued. It's true. Because until then, the mortgage can't be drawn down. Can be, yeah. And the banks themselves, they would do their own diligence as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, that's the time well, when we know from the developer that the property is uh, about to be finished, we instruct the bank that we are about to order the valuation because uh, it's something that bank requests. A proper valuation report, making sure the property is ready finalize and with all the paperwork in place so um, we make sure and we supervise that point as well with a very good and real, uh, reliable uh, valuation company uh, that, that we uh, order and we supervise the whole visit and, and, and um, the paperwork as well it seems like to be provided. a lot of work it's a lot of work yeah, it's three years uh, process. It's amazing, and uh, but it's uh, this this kind of purchases are more. Um, they have more risk, no? Because uh, uh, you don't know what's gonna happen in two three years, two two three years time. And it's very good and very nice having a very reliable company uh, looking after your own interest. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for explaining that. Thank you.